We're still at the New South Wales Championships. I've managed to catch up with Michael Konamani, who's just won the bronze medal in the New South Wales 100 metre championships. Um, we'll go back a bit. The last time we were here was the state juniors. That was a sensational result. You won the um, New South Wales junior title in the 100. Um, what's been happening since then? What's Gav been saying about your progression? Well, first time I was here, I was about at the juniors. I um, just went to Gav, talked to him, how I performed. He was happy with it. And he just said, just go back to training and do what you do best. Just put your head down and go to work. Yeah. This is your first competition back since uh, State Juniors? Oh, yes. Oh, this is my first competition back since State Juniors, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, there's uh, three rounds to get through today to get to the final, or to, including the final. Um, more than you'd normally be doing in any sort of competition. Um, the, we'll start with the heat this morning, a couple of hours between each. Uh, talk us through the heat, your, your time, how'd you feel? Yeah, the heat was a bit easy, you know, because I was a bit nervous because it's the first time running um, opens. So the beat was a bit easy, just ease off through the end. I ran a 10, 7, 9, won the heat as well. So, yeah, I just went there and do my job and then hope for the semi-finals. Um, obviously, a couple of hours between. What are you doing in that couple of hours between? Oh, well, after the heat, I just decided to relax a bit. Instead of sitting down, I walked around and then went back to the warm-up track, did some stretches, um and then do some few runs before the semi-finals. Is it the same process each time? So you've got, obviously, the heat that you've got to warm up for, then a couple of hours before the semi, a couple of hours before the final. Is it the same process each time, the same warm-up routine, or does it change a bit because you've already run? It changes a bit because you already ran. You don't want to do everything you did from the morning. So you kind of just increase your, 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 your warm-up. So after the heat, you do more stretching, and then you do more runs instead of doing all all the stretching, all the warm-up drills. So it's just stretching and more runs instead of doing drills. Yeah. Um, come to the semi-final, so a couple of hours later, talk us through the semi. Oh, the semis was all good, a bit nervous because I had my friend Tanaka next to me in heat four, um, which he did a PB today as well, so he was really happy with that. Yeah. Um, do you remember your time from the semi? I did a 10.73, so a bit, bit, I was a bit nervous, but as soon as I got out the blocks, nerves got away. I saw that I won it easy, so I just eased off at the end. Um, obviously won your semi as well, so qualified well for the final. Um, but one of the, the quicker qualifiers, so you know, a decent lane draw for the final. Um, to, again, talk us through your, your mindset leading into the final. What were you doing before? Oh, uh, this will be different. I was actually, after the semis, I was just sitting down having a chat with Gavin, telling him how the race went. He was happy with it, and he was just talking through how we're going to run the final. And I just did a bit of um, stretching, and then that was it. Just hope for the best and just go there and do what I do best. And uh, talk us through the final itself. Final was a bit nervous because, you know, I'm running against Jing and Jaworski and these big boys have been running good times. So, yeah, it's a bit nerve-wracking put, being put in the middle between them two. So it was really good. Now, it was a great experience coming out with a PB. I was I, I, unbelievable. You know, it was very, very unbelievable. I didn't know I could run that fast. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a new thing for me, running that quick, so smashing your PB. It was it's just... I was lost to words. I couldn't even say anything. What was your PB before coming into tonight and what have you run tonight? Oh, before I come into this race, I ran a 10.68 and at the end of the final, I smashed my PB, did a 10.57. So more than a tenth off. Um, it wasn't a hurricane up, up your back either. I think it was a, about a 0.8 or a 1 or something tailwind. So nothing, um, you know, it wasn't a 1.9 tailwind pushing you along. It was a sort of really genuine time you, you must be really pleased with the performance obviously yeah yeah no it wasn't like a big tailwind coming it was just a normal tailwind it's just how you perform on the day and i reckon i planned my races the finals easy the heat was easy the semis as long as i got out and i saw like i got it so i just eased off and the finals i just gave everything i got and it came out with a good result yeah so I was pretty, pretty um you, you, obviously you must be happy the yeah. bronze medal um i think the silver in the under 23s as, as far as we know is that right yeah uh probably yeah i probably got silver in the under 23s but bronze in the opens we should make mention um obviously you weren't the only one in the race it was a cracking final um Less than a thousandth of a second separating uh, the, the first two. Ben Jaworski and Jing Sung Yoon. Yeah. yeah, it was. Uh, I was behind them, so I was. I was. No, like, when I saw he ran a 10 for one, I knew that I got a PB because that was a quick time.
That was my impression as well. So as I saw 10 4 one and you sort of right in behind them, it was always going to be a good time. Um, to me, the photo looked like a dead heat. Uh, it can't get much closer than that in sprinting. Uh, sensational promotion for the sport. Michael, congratulations, mate. Terrific run tonight. New PB, uh, bronze in the state opens on the back of becoming New South Wales junior champion. Well done, mate. We'll catch up soon. All right, thank you.